keeping track of these game numbers becomes incredibly difficult after a while. Like, I understand where YouTubers are coming from, dude. I see YouTube videos where it's like, Black Ops 2, new info, and it's like, dude, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. Because, like, I don't know if it's Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3. I forget, dude. There's too many games and there's too many genres. It's so confusing, and I, I just I don't understand anymore. So, anyways, uh, my name is Roshi, and I'll bring you another commentary today. Uh, today, I wanted to touch uh, base on, you know, uh, my growth on YouTube and my growth as an editor and, and whatnot uh, that came onto YouTube from YouTube, you know, because I used to be kind of a, a more laid back person, but YouTube has definitely changed me in that sense. I just wanted to uh, talk about that a little bit. The, you know, the benefits to doing YouTube as a social life, I don't know, social experiment, <laughs> inside joke. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I think one of the main things that YouTube has gotten me very good at, and uh, maybe this is just because I'm doing these commentaries and whatnot, and I was good at this before, but I think it really kind of uh, fine-tuned my skill, uh, which is, t uh, it's just talking to people, you know, having conversations with people, starting up conversations, replying to people, uh, it's definitely helped a lot, uh, because, like, I didn't even know how to continue a conversation after three minutes, like, it, w it would probably go something like this, hey, what's up, how are you, good, G uh, d uh, uh, dead. But that's how conversations would go before YouTube. Like, I literally did not know what to say at all. It was so difficult for me to continue on a conversation with one person for a long time. And I think YouTube has really helped me find my true self, who I really, really am uh, deep down inside. And uh, I'm just kind of a crazy loud person and uh if, if you didn't know calling yourself weird or crazy it doesn't actually make you weird or crazy i forgot to tell you guys that <laughs> but it's definitely shown me that i'm not i'm not really like a stoner type of guy i don't like to like i like to obviously have conversations with people about like important subjects and whatnot but it's not like me i'd rather have a good time with my friends you know just laugh a bunch be loud whatever because I, I i you know i feel like youtube has helped me found myself one of the most obvious things that you can see in youtube is your growth in content making itself so not necessarily commentary so if you do something else than commentaries you can see uh your progress uh or progress i don't know however you pronounce it i, I pronounce a lot of things weird mario <clears throat> Um, but some of the things that you can obviously definitely see are kind of like uh, your ability to talk for a long period of time, uh, obviously your quality, uh, your color correction, uh, the way you intro your videos, uh, the amount of effort and time put into your videos, and as obviously there's these games uh, that bring back uh, flooding memories of nostalgia almost, which is... Uh, very, it's very big in my mind because I have a lot of nostalgia that I try and relive, but it, you don't really get the same feeling. I don't know if you've ever tried this. My childhood was grown up, well, right here on YouTube. Uh, this is probably my bread and butter for my entire life. It's what I've been, you know, dedicating most of my time on. Uh, not make, not necessarily making videos, but just watching people, connecting with them, you know, watching their YouTube videos. Like, that guy who camps is a great example. I used to love watching that dude I upload videos, and I still do love, you know, his videos, but he's just kind of been inactive uh, for the past, uh, I don't know, two years. It's been a very, very long time. Um, but I still remember trying to mimic uh, everything that he did, trying to get better at Call of Duty just by watching him, you know, play it. And... That's what's really cool, because YouTube, I see it as a place as you can capture memories perfectly in the moment. So, you know, you may want to record a video now, but you may not be thinking in two years, you know, you may not be thinking, hey, I'm going to go look at that, that video that I made two years ago and see how I improve from now. Because honestly, the way that I think about it right now, at this moment in time, I'm the best that I can be at making videos, and there's no topping this for right now at this moment, for today. But maybe I'll look back in two years... Uh, look back into, yeah, I said that right. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll look back then and, and be like, man, I was terrible at making videos. <laughs> like, I don't know. It could be uh, something like that. And I still do that to this day. Like two years ago, I thought, man, this video that I'm making is really, really good. I'm really proud of this. And then I look back and I'm like, ha, shouldn't have uploaded that. <laughs> but you know, there's nothing you can do about that now. I mean, I'm not going to delete my videos. If you guys want to check out my older videos, <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend it, but you probably would get some, you probably would lose a lot of brain cells, but uh, you can if you want to. Uh, if you make YouTube videos yourself, I definitely recommend watching your old YouTube videos. They're very fun to watch. I get pretty inspired by watching my old videos back. I don't regret making any of them at all. Uh, but anyways, hope you all enjoyed the commentary. If you did, don't forget to comment and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.